Copyright is one of the huge issues on YouTube. I've talked about my unfortunate experiences with false takedowns from giant corporations before. The company Nerdist somehow accidentally blocked worldwide a Dragon Age 4 video I made months ago. Fortunately, that was resolved somewhat soon thanks to you guys calling out the false claim. But beyond just that one instance, I've stressed over a lot of other situations that I have not made public. I've had music companies copyright claim a video for using a few seconds of a song, gaming companies flag flagging videos for discussing rumors, and even some companies flagging down content they don't even own. Besides companies, I've had a few instances of developers and other individuals falsely claiming my videos, not understanding how YouTube works or what fair use is. Now I've screwed up before, I've made mistakes, I've been on YouTube making videos since around 2011, and I've learned a lot over the years, but one thing I've never done is copyright strike critical videos of myself down. Now I'm not saying I've handled all criticism the greatest because I haven't, there's some regrets I have with certain situations that have unfolded in the past. Like another YouTuber swag to myself were beefing at one point because of some bully to speculation I made and now in present day I consider swag to a YouTube friend. And he's actually one of the individuals that encouraged me to make this video. But right now on YouTube it seems there's a growing issue with creators trying to silence criticism. I know there are numerous ongoing situations but I want to discuss one that I'm actually familiar with. So let's discuss what has happened with the YouTuber Kazuliski who is a cyberpunk 27 77 YouTuber who could not take criticism so he resorted to silencing any and all forms of criticism. When I say that, I mean he's deleting all negative comments, lying to his audience, playing victim, attacking others and spreading misinformation, and falsely copyright striking a critical video down. So to understand the situation, I first need to explain who Kazuliski is. He's a small creator who specifically discusses Cyberpunk 2077 and Cyberpunk Red. He discusses a lot of lore, game information, news, and he calls out people for spreading lies and misinformation about cyberpunk. Now the thing is, he doesn't say names or directly call out gaming websites or YouTubers. He specifically just calls them all street rats. The case of deja vu in terms of street rat activity, as the usual suspects were involved in promulgating clickbait and misinformation on the streets of Night City. Now, Kazuliski appears to have some form of a relationship with CD Projekt Red and R. Telsorian Games, as he was able to get the voice actor of the Witcher games, Geralt, to record some lines in support of him. I'm Geralt, and Kazuliski is a close friend of mine. If there's one thing that makes us both angry, it's street rats. So pay attention now, street rats. My patience is getting thin, and once it's gone, heads are gonna roll. Additionally, he has also hinted of this relationship in the comment section of this specific video. So Kazuliski at least appears to have some influence with the cyberpunk community, which is a big deal. This is the guy that claims to be fighting the good fight, acting as the one honest and respectful source of any and everything cyberpunk. Now let's finally discuss the problem with all of this and why he has acted like a hypocrite and for some reason doesn't want to take ownership of just about anything that he has done wrong. So Kazuliski has been having beef with another Cyberpunk 2077 and Cyberpunk Red YouTuber The Neon Arcade who is just a little larger in size. Now this beef appears to be one-sided. I've searched throughout YouTube, Discord, Twitter, and had private conversations with various other creators who claim that Kazuliski is the only one targeting and attacking the Neon Arcade. Stay with me, this will be important for you to understand the full story of what's going on. So a few days ago, the Neon Arcade mentioned in a video that the Cyberpunk Red release date has not been confirmed, and... Cyberpunk Red will bridge the gap between Talsorian Cyberpunk 2020 and CDPR's 2077, and will play a big part in how the world has changed in those years. There is no release date yet, but Mike Pondsmith and the crew have been doing some incredibly deep research. For those unaware, Cyberpunk Red is a pen and paper RPG by R. Tulsorian Games, which as far as I understand, is supposed to fill the gap from the pen and paper RPG Cyberpunk 2020 to the big CD Projekt Red developed Cyberpunk 2077 video game. So Neon said there wasn't a release date yet, which actually there is one, but it was never made clear by R. Tulsorian Games as they listed a date for a specific event debut and 
said it was subject to change. It's now been confirmed that that date is the release date, but it wasn't clear until just the other day. Anyway, let's continue. So Kajaliski used this as ammunition to attack Neon in a now private video. But as I said earlier, he doesn't mention specific names, but he used Neon's channel theme as his thumbnail and placed it in the video and was answering comments specifically calling out Neon. But for you to understand this smear, here's a clip from that now private video. Imagine my surprise when on April 13th, a click baiting street rat who regularly produces fake news lied once again about Cyberpunk Red's release date. The street rat who on a weekly basis delivers fake news and misinformation on Cyberpunk 2077 release details will deliberately lie to you. Now this finally leads into another creator's video who wanted to bring awareness to Kazuliski, smearing and spreading misinformation about the Neon Arcade. Brutal Games, another channel that discusses Cyberpunk 2077, made a 20 minute and 38 second video titled The State of the Cyberpunk Community, and in this video, he broke down Kazuliski's smear video and compared it to what Neon actually said pretty much proving that Kazuliski was lying and smearing him. Surprise, surprise, but this critical video was copyright striked and Kazuliski interestingly didn't put timestamps to his content that was shown in the video. He just claimed the whole video was his and he later told his subscribers and audience that the video was a re-upload, which that's, that's not true. Now, Brutal did use substantial parts of Kazuliski's video, but it was used for commentary and criticism, something protected under fair use. And additionally, Kazuliski Kazuliski himself was using a Cyberpunk 2077 trailer in the background, footage that he does not even own. But the most important point is that he did not copyright strike the video down because it used too much of his own video, he striked it because it exposed him as a liar and manipulator. So before the video was striked, I actually watched it in its entirety and took to Twitter to tell Neon the following, you did a good job, I've watched some of your videos in the past, and honestly I find the hate thrown your way as extreme reaching by someone who's leeching off of taking any and every one down. Said individual also has me blocked on Twitter for no reason at all, and Neon would respond by saying appreciate that legacy. If I'm not mistaken, he has actually attacked you in the past as well, based off a title I saw that was exactly yours. I didn't click it so I couldn't tell you for sure, but yeah, very odd. We just have to keep doing our thing. And yes, Kazuliski has taken a shot at least once at my own Cyberpunk 2077 content, which is fair, but something he denies. So if you are a Kazuliski fan, just know he specifically told me he He's never targeted or attacked my cyberpunk content at all. Now, finally, I did respond saying that he's taken shots at everybody, including Yong Ye, various gaming websites, myself, and many others. This is when I believe Brutal's video was copyright striked, and I randomly received a message from Kazu Liski in which he told me, You made a comment recently on Twitter which suggests I've attacked you. I don't know who you are, nor do I watch your content. If anyone has implied I somehow acted in a negative way towards you, I apologize. A specific individual quote-unquote came after me several months ago. I am dealing with that one specific individual in my own way. This is the issue with that response. He has seen my content and he's been critical of it. I don't know why he's lying. I read comments from his subscribers criticizing me, which is how I even found his channel in the first place. For example, here's my video on February 10th speculating about ocean exploration, and here's his video five days later, which he claims was in reference to a random gaming article that doesn't even include the ocean exploration possibility in the title but at the very bottom of the article, yet he chose the same thumbnail as mine and title. Heck of a coincidence. Even after showing that, he denied ever criticizing my content, and as I told him, I don't care that you criticize me, just own up to it, but he could not. So this is when I asked him about the false copyright strike and for proof Neon has ever attacked him, and he kept deflecting from this specific situation. Eventually, the last response he gave me was, quote unquote, I have addressed the alleged attack you referred to, therefore our conversation has continued included. This is when I notified him I would be making this situation public because silencing criticism and smearing someone is a problem, and if you do it, you're going to get called out for your BS. Now, his response to my Twitter thread was, and I quote, As many are aware, an individual has been running a campaign of hate against me over an extended period of time. He's referring, I guess, to Neon. I responded to the most recent attack from this individual supporters, claiming I was lying about the Cyberpunk Red having a release date. I stand by my information. Even in that statement, he wouldn't discuss 
falsely striking a video down. Interestingly, the information he stands by in this video went unlisted and now is set to private, which I gotta say sure doesn't seem he's standing by anything. But to the part of a campaign of hate that Kazuliski claims, I've been searching everywhere and have found no evidence of that on Neon's part. What I have found is numerous videos by Kazuliski attacking the Neon Arcade, and he's even mentioned Neon in the comment section specifically. My theory on all of this is Kazuliski sees Neon as his biggest competition, as they both discuss the same subjects and are really the only channels discussing cyberpunk news every few days, so he himself has launched a campaign of hate towards Neon to make his channel and content look better. Now this story still isn't over because Kazuliski made another statement on his YouTube channel saying, It's been an interesting 24 hours. I've received a barrage of malicious attacks from various individuals, both on YouTube and social media. Interesting times. As always, remain vigilant, Chumba. And yes, this unfortunately is how he wishes to handle the situation. On Twitter, he's blocking any and everyone who criticizes him, and even on this post, he's deleting any negative comment thrown his way. But I mean, look at some of these responses he's giving his fans. Someone says, what's going on? There's a lot of us who are YouTubers who follow you and support you. If someone is harassing you, don't keep it secret. And he responds with the victim card, a few YouTubers have decided to target me. And this honestly makes me so pissed. Nobody is deciding to target you. You did this to yourself. You had a choice and made it. But another user says, do they copyright strike you or is it just messages and crap? And his response is, someone who has been throwing hate at me for quite some time re-uploaded my video, so I asked YouTube to remove my content. They are now attacking me over that. Again, there is no evidence to support any of this. Next, someone asks what this is about. He says, YouTubers are attacking me over the info on the Cyberpunk Red release date. And no, that's not at all what this is about. But as you can see in these other comments, I'll just keep scrolling down. He says he plans to ignore the situation. He says an army can't take him down. He says it's the internet, some people have nothing better to do, and YouTube is full of toxicity, unfortunately. This is the story of Kazuliski, a video I didn't really want to make, but this horrendous handling of this situation forced me into making it. He couldn't be truthful to me in private messages, and he couldn't even acknowledge he acted wrong. Instead, he continues to play victim. If you're watching Kazuliski, I would say apologizing to Neon and Brutal should be your first step. Moving that false strike should be next, and moving forward you need to not delete all negative comments and instead of silencing criticism, listen to it. But judging by Kazuliski blocking everyone telling him to release the false claim, I assume he's just going to continue his terrible ways, but I hope I'm wrong, really. Now if you are a Cyberpunk 2077 fan or someone who's anticipating the game, some smaller channels I recommend you checking out include of course Brutal and the Neon Arcade, but also the Triple S League, Last Known Meal, and the Mad Queen Show. Copyright continues to be a major problem on YouTube, and it's just sad how so many creators can't handle criticism, so they resort to making false claims and playing the victim card. There is no excuse to any of these actions, and each time it happens, those who make these claims deserve to be called out. And that's what's happened today with Kazuliski, someone with an enormous ego that thought he could get away with falsely striking a video down and spreading misinformation about another creator who he's been sneak dissing for months, although it's pretty obvious who he's been referring to. I will note Kazuliski, YouTube has been actively taking down channels for misusing their copyright claim system, so I'd recommend removing that claim before this becomes an even bigger and more tragic situation for yourself. Anyway, this is the situation, these are my thoughts, and I just hope this pressure forces Kazuliski into doing the right thing, because none of this should have ever happened, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos, links are always down in the description below. I'm most active on Twitter giving opinions on news that I don't always get into video form so make sure to follow me over there. Also check out my discord for all sorts of discussion on games and again thank you for joining. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and I'll see you later.